Thank you. 
with our spirit this morning as we turn over to our moderator, Deacon Bedford. Praise God. Country the praising is worthy of your glory. He's a good God. He's a lantern God. You may not come when we want him, but he's always been here on time. Come for help for Jesus. Give him praise. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to give him praise for who he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How great the words. Hallelujah. Jesus, just look at the atmosphere. Glory to God. You are wonderful, God. We exalt you this morning. We call you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He has not like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He has not to come to your mighty God. And so this morning, God, we take time out to come to your hearts, Lord, to lift up your mighty name.
Philippians chapter 3, reading from verse 1 to 12. I'm reading from the New King James, and me and the friend maybe in translation, so just follow me as I read. Philippians chapter 3, reading from verse 1 to 12. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write, for me to write the same thing to you is not, is not tedious, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of multi multiplication. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit. Rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he, he may have confidence in the flesh, I am more so. Circumcised the eighth day of the stuff of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law of Pharisees, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning the righteousness, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, these I have called them lost for Christ. Yet indeed I also call all these lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and called them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. Verse 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is true through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death. If by any means I may attain to the righteousness, sorry, to the resurrection from the dead. Verse 12. Not that I have already attained or am or am or am already perfect, but I press on that I may lay hold of that that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus had also laid hold of me. This is the word of the Lord. We honor my sin. Thanks be to God. Praise God. Thank you so much, Brother God. Thank you for the word. The word is as the word. Praise God. We're going to ask for a time to call and give them welcome. Praise God. Praise the Lord, brethren. Become my faith, my farm, leaning on the Lord. It is a wonderful day to be alive today. Let us welcome the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Minister Vegas, Minister Vagas, we want to welcome our well wishers, we want to welcome our members, we want to welcome my brother Leah about welcoming to the house of God, sir. We say you are going to a funeral, but you have to come and worship God. It is so wonderful to see you again.
the speaker is no stranger to us. He's our own Father, Pastor Harvey Clark. Just clap your hands, boy. We're going to stand, or we're going to pray for the Lord of God. Pray strength, physically and spiritual. Let us stand on our feet. Thank you, Jesus. There is no way to go. Father, we praise you, God. We honor you. We thank you for who you are. There is nothing too hard for you to do. Hear your son, God, your servant, which you have called in a time like this. Lord, I pray for strength physically and spiritually. I pray that the hand, O God, will move upon you right now, God. From the crown of his head and to the sole of his feet. Lord, I pray, God, that your word will come with power and with authority. Oh God, your word is like a holy sword, it spears and it cut the sun. I pray that the hearts of the people will be receptive to your word. Father, we thank you for what you are going to do. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning to everyone. So good to see you looking into your beautiful faces. So good that you could be here today to worship the Lord and to give you thanks for his wonderful goodness towards you. Praise God, enjoying the atmosphere. Hallelujah, wonderful sunshine that he gave unto us. Oh, that is wonderful. Praise the Lord, many don't have a privilege this morning to see this wonderful sunshine and to fellowship with their friends or neighbor or family. They are into the whole day of the earth this morning. So we have to give you our thanks for his wonderful goodness. Hallelujah. You know, at this time in my life, I am going, I don't want to do much preaching. Hallelujah. I'm up in age, but it seems to me like they don't want to let me go. So that's why I'm standing before you here this morning. And I ask your prayers as we go through to praise the Lord and to give Him thanks for His wonderful goodness. I'm so glad that I'm a child of a king. Praise God, I have a land of hope. Hallelujah. That I will see Him one day. Praise God, and I'm not going to let out this hope, but it is a lively hope. Praise God. And this hope, hallelujah, it is a sure hope to see Jesus. For he promised that he will come again. And he promised that in his father's house there are many mansions. And if it were not so, the word of God says in St. John 14 there. He had poured us. But when he comes, he will receive us. And to himself, that we are be his, we will be also. Brethren, Brother Clark, beg you another time. For God's sake, hallelujah, let it be so. Don't work the work to hear. Depart from me. I am no way But Jesus says, he will say unto them that are on the left, Depart from me, I know you not. And so today, praise God, we must make sure that no man deceive us or spoil our crown by taking up away our crown. When I get the message, 
message that Dad ought to preach this morning was on Thursday. I said, oh my God. Uh, I never expect to hear this. But you know something, church, it is good when you, 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 you read the Word of God. And in reading, you do some objectives. Hallelujah. That when, when things like this come upon you, hallelujah, it just, the Holy Spirit just bring you back to what you read. Hallelujah. And then from here, you can feel a message of so this morning, praise God, I want to speak on um, my topic that I want to use this morning, power of touch. Power of touch. A touch can make a difference. Not you. Yes. Yeah, man. Yes. You can touch a person with your hand and you can speak some word that touch the person also, not you? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then we're going to look for a little time. I don't have much time, praise God. And the power of touch. It has been said, praise God, Dr. Paul Brown, he was a, 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 a missionary appointed to India. And uh, it says here when you look on the first hand, uh, praise God, to know that a medical can be a show for his patient. And uh, he touched a leper man. Today we are in COVID, COVID what, 19? And if you, if you don't care for it, <laughs> praise God and stand up to the court call what they have us. Hey, you scarcely even want to rub against anybody. But what I want to say, the doctor touched a man that is sick with leprosy. And it says in the year that he began to cry. Tears started running down his cheek. Hallelujah. And, and a helper that stood in here explained to the doctor, praise God, the meaning of the tears. And she said, listen to me, doctor, do is the first that touched this man over all these years. And it brings joy and happiness to his heart. That's why he's crying. Listen to me, we must have power in our touch. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said that he shall receive power. Oh, what is power when you do what that you shall be witnessing, effective witnesses unto me in the Judea, in Jerusalem, in Samaria, and in the other James said, there is any sick among you. Let them call for the elders of the church. Today, praise God. Hallelujah, we miss some bravery. And you might go out as a, a leader. What happened to sister so-and-so? What happened to brother so-and-so? Hallelujah. Ah, uh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Uh, they are sick. I was in the hospital. And the church don't know. Hallelujah. What James said, you must call for the elders of the church. Let them anoint you with oil and lay hands on you and pray. Hallelujah. And bring up a faithful man. Ah, praise God shall save the sick. Come on, church. Pray. 
and tears began to stream down and I found out that praise God is touch ah oh, hallelujah it is a normal touch and here am I today hallelujah standing before you hallelujah to tell you that uh, Jesus Christ is the one that has power to heal and to raise from the dead that was crucified, put into a tomb, rose from the dead. Hallelujah. And he go preach. Hallelujah. And as he was preaching in Judea, one of the Bibles is in Mark. Chapter 1. Hallelujah. In verse 14, we're going to look at it here. Thank you, Jesus. You were preaching in Galilee. I said, what, Judea? Excuse me, but Galilee. And uh, you know that Jesus preached? Yes, man. Jesus came on the scene when he finished his temptation with the devil. The word of God said he turned unto Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. Oh, we have to be charged. We have to be well covered. Ah, Jesus preached and he healed. Oh, hallelujah. He restored ah, the joy of salvation to the hearts of the people. So listen to me. Everything is in true Jesus Christ. No one here can heal anybody. Ah, Jesus Christ is the healer. Ah, hallelujah. We only are agents for him. Oh, we do what he says we must do. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the sick by faith shall be healed. What I notice, blessed be the name of Jesus, that all those that come to Jesus, Receive healing, not you. Yes. A lot of us sit down with our with, with our with with our uh, sickness. I don't want to call on Jesus. Listen to me, church. It's high time you wake up. Oh, hallelujah! And stop the complaining. Oh, Lord, my knee is paining me. I scarcely can move. You know what I still have to go by? This was me. <laughs> she sat down and uh, when she was ready to get up, listen to me, she could make it. I hear boom, boom, boom. When we look away, she's on our side. I rush for her. Oh, she said, no, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. The pain hit her in her knee. Oh, hallelujah. And she just jumped on our side. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. It is not nice when you are sick. And when you are feeling pain. And no, hallelujah. That it is the broad deal. Oh, the healer are dear. Let us call out to him. Let us reach out to him. Let us touch him. You know the that of Jesus. Let him touch him. Human 
the issue of black to touch Jesus. And it was not spread so far. <laughs> Remember now the word of God tell us that she spent all that she had. She had nothing left more than the sickness or the complaint looking at. No more money to go to the doctor. But the Bible says she spent all And listen to me, she won't be, you know, she never, she don't supposed to be in a crowd like that. Ah, uh, hallelujah. But she pressed through the crowd. Uh, and when she reached up, uh, and just could touch the hem of Jesus' garment, Jesus said, somebody touch me. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody touch me. And the disciple said, Master, look at the crowd. And say a word like that, who touched me? And she looked, he looked around and saw the woman. Woman that faith had made the whole. Hallelujah. You have to have faith. You are sick. Have faith in the truth. Let your faith be strong. When your faith went to deliver you. Uh, And work without faith is dead our soul. And hallelujah. So she touched Jesus. And she have a big word to, to creep down here. To creep down. It takes her some time to reach where Jesus is. But the crowd strong Jesus wrote word about him. But she said, well, I must touch him today. Yes. And if I touch him, I suppose we may go. Listen to me. It seems that we are not called. <laughs> oh, the word of God says, call. Oh, yeah, let me turn. Blind Martin said, you will go here with me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, his case, he could not see. And he too hear about Jesus. This power pack man. Glory to God for everywhere he went. He was I, I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry till I 
But I think like no more tears in the year for me to show. But I'm speaking to God. Hallelujah. Let me run to me. Hallelujah. Oh, his promise. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I seem like God lined up everything for me. Oh, hallelujah. Everyone was dear. Hallelujah to me, my need. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. When I reached to the hospital, hallelujah. I heard a voice. I heard a voice in his brother Clark. I said to myself, who is here no who is the hospital no me? I come to know it is a girl that go to the church that I visit while I work here. Hallelujah. And believe me, brethren, she worked hallelujah, in the extra room. And I heard she said, come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me, pastor, to the extra room. So God is dear at every time. He said, You will never leave us, nor forsake us, but you will redeem for us. So then, Lord, to me, I saw, Show Jesus, Jesus, go so David, have mercy on me. And I called, touching Jesus. Jesus said, Go and bring him to me. Yeah. Go and bring him. To me. <laughs> and Jesus they, they came to Jesus. He said, What do you want me to do for you? But I receive my strength. And Jesus touched him and he received his strength. Why do you want to call? You are in your trouble call to the man that upstairs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Without telling anybody, you call. Let us go to St. Mark chapter 1. Hallelujah. In verse 40, verse 40 says, While you were in Galilee preaching, healing the sick, cleansing the leper, Verse 1 he says, And there came a leper to him. I want you to look at this. Beseeching him. Who came to Jesus? The man will have believed. Yes. The sick man, the leper man. The word of God says they could stay into the community. They have to live outside the community. And if they have that, they, they come in here to a crowd of people. Ah, uh, they must cry, I'm good. Unclean! Unclean! Imagine that. So they can know that a leper is here. And to know how, praise God, to operate by that boy close to him. So verse 40 says, This leper came to Jesus and beseeching him, kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou can make me clean. Sickness is not nice, thing, especially in our disease. Not only with cold and fever. When you have a disease, everybody is free that you don't even want to come here. Oh, the first time he is coming in. Some people don't even go back against the person. No. I want you to know that you can just eat like that. And I don't know. All in the year how you can catch it. I don't know they don't want to go against a eighth person. But listen to me, we are receive the power of the Holy Ghost. 
began to touch the head person, began to touch the leper. Hallelujah. And they made the hold of his shoe. And they looked at me, both he and I, he was very known. And they restrict us. Like you have on your mask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Social distance. Hallelujah. What? Six feet. Hallelujah. That is two yards apart from the other person. And it must have on your mask. But I want to say to us today, Jesus just touched the left man. It's right here before you. He touched him. And Jesus moved with compassion. Listen to me. We must have some compassion. Our compassion for the person that sick beside you. For the sick person. A lot of times we hear people say, oh, all of the church cry and they want. And when they get healed and they don't move to the church, they don't come back. But that is their trouble. That is their problem. But we are here to do what we have to do. It is our responsibility when they call to pray. That's true. Amen. Praise God. Whether they want to come to the church or not, that is the problem. And anyway, we don't be with our responsibility. Our responsibility is to stretch our hands and touch them and pray for them. Hallelujah. And they can receive healing. That's true. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Of Jesus. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leper departed from him, and he was what? Cleansed. But as you read going on here, Jesus said, All right, see that you don't tell anybody. But one thing I want you to do, go and show yourself to the priest. And offer uh, what the law of Moses is in the Leviticus here. Praise God. And all what you read here in Leviticus, uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it pertains pertain to Jesus Christ, uh, the sacrifice, the lamb which takes away the sins of the world. But this man was so happy and rejoicing, he went about telling the people what they place. And the word of God is read here. Jesus couldn't do any more ministry. Open it into that place. You have to move and go here into the desert places. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to me. We glad today that we don't have to come with a, a, a bird. <laughs> we don't have to come with a, a bull. <laughs> ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. But Jesus Christ once and for all. Hallelujah. Claim. Hallelujah. Bird. Hallelujah. The ego, hallelujah. He is the one that stands here, hallelujah, as our sacrifice. Present yourself by your body as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. This is your reasonable service. Hey, hallelujah. Paul, a touch. Paul, a touch. Hallelujah, verse 40. Praise God. And straightway, verse 43. And, and he strictly charged him for this, sent him away, and said unto him, See thou that you don't take nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest. And offer, praise God, an offer for thy cleansing. Those things, praise God, which Moses commanded for a praise God, a testimony unto them. 
So, if E go to the threes, you would have to bring a teacher. Word of God to the two birds. And the different quotation here. Hallelujah. For his cleansing. But right here, the priest would know that something differently happened. But he came with the king, not true. Hallelujah. The, 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 the priest would start to question him. As I read, Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit, praise God. Hallelujah, shown to me. Then the priest would know, hallelujah, that something different has to take place. Today, hallelujah, we have our case called to Jesus. Jesus is the one that has the power to heal and to rejoice. He is the one, praise God, that are at the control. He is the King of Kings. And he is the Lord of Lords. Will you touch him this morning? Will you touch him this morning? Can I have somebody to back me up here? Hallelujah. I know the whole of this time. Praise the Lord. Let me touch him. Let me touch him. See it and believe it. So Yes, 
shall never die. Lord, we thank you today for your words. We give you glory, we give you praise. And the church to say amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.